Hello guys, welcome to the mathematics revision. In today's mathematics revision, we are going to be looking at uh, the topic which is known as uh, sets. So be revising eh, a topic in mathematics which is known as eh, sets. Okay, so if you are writing this year mathematics, I would rather encourage you to join my group where I am revising uh, through past papers eh, uh, mathematics to enable you uh, prepare for the exam to ensure that uh, before you go there to write the exam you are prepared through examination questions revisions all right so without further ado let's go straight into this uh, revision so this is this question came in 20 2020 grade 12 so it says of the 115 students who attended the end of year party uh, 74 took Phantom, 93 took Sprite, 87 took Coke, 61 took Coke and Sprite, 71 took Sprite and Coke. Okay, so here there's a mistake. They have repeated uh, Coke and Sprite, also here Sprite Coke. So I know this one was an error. They were supposed to type Fanta here okay and then they are saying sixty took fanta and coke and uh, 50 took all the three drinks okay then a they say illustrate this information on a venn diagram then b how many students took roman numero one none of the drinks Roman numero 2, Fanta and Sprite, but not Coke. Roman numero 3, at least two different drinks. Okay, when answering such questions, you need to come up with uh, data. You need to put data properly, information provided. You gather it properly as uh, data. Okay, so here we are told of, of the students. So we have of the 115. So it means that we have 115 students. You put it like that. So these are the students. Okay. So these are the students. Then we are told 74 took Fanta. So you say 74 like that. So this one took Fanta. So Fanta represented by F. Then you go to the next. 93 took Sprite, so you say 93, you write it like that. So this they took Sprite, you write Sprite as S. Then, again it goes on to say 87 took Coke. So 87, you write 87, these took a Coke, you would put capital C. Okay, then it says 61 took Fanta and this Sprite. So you write 61, this they took Fanta, which means F, and Sprite, which means S. Then 71 took Sprite and Coke, so 71, this one took, you are going to say, Sprite, which is S, and Coke, which is a C, like that. And then they are saying, Sikiste took Fanta and Coke, so Sikiste saying this they took Fanta so you say F and D cock F and D cock C they are saying Andy 50 took all the three drinks so 50 took all the three drinks so these are for all the three drinks which is F then Sprite and D cock okay so having put your information like this, it becomes easy for you to begin answering the question. So when, e, when we go to question A, which says illustrate this information on a Venn diagram, it is going to be easy for us to do so. Okay. So let us just um, uh, answer from here. So we are going to answer from the Venn diagram here. Okay. So. So this is A, 
So A, we are, we are going to answer from the Venn diagram. So, when you look at um, the question here, you must observe that uh, there are how many sets already? There are three sets. We have uh, set F, set S, and set C. So, we are going to write these sets as first set F, this one, then set S, this one, then set, oh sorry, I haven't written properly there, set S, oh, what is going on here? Set S, then we are going to have set C here. Then we should also have the universal set here, E. That's how it is. Universal set, it is the mother of all sets. So we will now start putting this information here. So when you are putting information in this Venn diagram, you have to start with the intersection of all the three. Like we have F, S, and C. So this means the intersection of all the three. And the intersection set of all the three, it's the middle part here. So this means that 50 students took Fanta, Sprite, and Coke. So they are supposed to be placed in the middle here, 50 of them. Okay, you put 50 there. Now, once you do that, then you can move to the to these ones here. You can move to these intersection between sets, two sets, like F and S. F and S, the intersection is this part here. Okay, so this is the intersection that you need to fill in. So it is supposed to be 60, right? So you put F and S 60 there. But you see, this also is falling still in F and S. So for you to write a correct answer here, you must get 60 minus 50. 61 minus 50, which will give you 11. So what will remain here is 11. That's how you should put it. Okay. Then from there, you shift it to this S and C. S and C, their intersection is this part here. Again, when you look at S and C, it is 71 there. Okay? So 71 again, you are supposed to say 71, you subtract also 50. Because this 50 is part of S and also part of C. So it has already been allocated. So there are some students that are already allocated. So those are not part of this. So you say 71 minus that, which will be 21. So here you have 21 there. Okay. Then from there, you come to F and C. So F, C. So the intersection is here. So F, F and C, it is 60. So also 60 minus 50, you remain with 10. That's how it is done. Then once you fill up that part, you need to move on now to the set. So we are done with it. one, two, three, four. You move to individual sets now. So in video sets, what you need to do, like for F, which is this part here now, these did not take part in it. These, they just took one, one. So you look at it, these now, F. F, which is 74, but some of the 74 which, who took uh, Fanta, they are already taking other drinks there. So we need now to remain with those that only took Fanta alone. So we'll say 74 minus what we are going to add here. So we'll subtract. So we are going to add everything here. Let me just uh, uh, pick a calculator here and help us to do this mathematics here. Okay. So we are going to add everything here. We will say 11 plus 50 plus 10 equals, that is 71. So we will say this 74 minus 71, it will be 3. So meaning here we are going to remain with 3. Okay. So again, we will come to, so this one is done. Then we will shift to 93, which is S here. S is this part here. So to fill up again, you know, 
uh, 93 is for those that took Sprite. So there are those that took Sprite already allocated here. So meaning that we need now to remain with those that took Sprite but did not take these other drinks here. So we we'll total up here where we are also going to say again to say 11. So we'll consider this part here. So say 11 plus 50, okay, then plus 21. What are we having? We are having 82. So 82. So we'll say that uh, 93 minus 82. So 93 minus 82. What are we going to have? 11. So we are going to put 11 there. So we'll put 11 there. Okay. So then we'll also now go to the other one, which is this one here. Uh, C, this part here. C, the 87. But we'll add 50, I mean 10 plus 50 plus 21. So say 10 plus 50 plus 21. We'll get what? We'll get 81. So we'll say 87 minus 81, it will be 6. So here we'll just have 6 like that. Okay. So, now, remember, the total students who went to the party were 115. So we don't know if all of them uh, took the drinks there at the party. Maybe some of them did not take it, the drinks. So let's total these who took the drinks. We see if the number is going to be 115. If not, then we'll subtract 115 from the number which will be here to know the number of uh, students who did not take anything there. So we'll start with the addition there. Okay, sorry. So let me just uh, do this. It's like uh, this part is affected. Okay, so we'll say, let me start with the, what is inside there. So say 11, mm, 11 plus 50 plus 10, plus 21, then plus 3, plus 11, then plus 6 here. Is it, have I done plus there? Uh, I think 11, Okay, let me restart. It's like I've, I made a mistake. 3 plus, or oh no, I'm starting from inside there. 11 plus uh, 50. Uh, look. So I'm saying 11 plus 50 plus 10 plus 21 plus. 3 plus 11 plus 6 plus 6 equals 112. So 112 is the total number of students that took drinks. But the number of students who went to the party is just 115, which means that 3 did not take the drinks. So here we are going to write the number of three here of those who did not take the drinks. Here in here in what we call the universal set here. So I didn't put here. So that will be our Venn diagram there. Okay. So you have seen with the easy we answer the question like that. Okay. Now we go to B. So we are going to answer B from here. So B, let's scroll to B, sorry. So B says, how many students took Roman numeral one, none of the drinks? So it's a three. Those who took none of the drinks are these here, three. So we'll say Roman numeral one, we'll say, three students 
Then we'll get back to Roman numeral 2, which says uh, Fanta and Sprite, but not Coke. So those who took Fanta and Sprite, but not Coke. Okay. So Fanta and Sprite, but not Coke are here. So these 11 here, Fanta and Sprite, they did not take Coke here. So these here and here they took Coke. But those that took Fanta and Sprite, they are here, 11 students. So say those are 11 students. Then we we'll also move to, to the Roman numeral 3, at least two different drinks. So those that took at least. So at least, when you hear at least, it means less or greater. So those who took at least two drinks or greater than or more, that's what it means at least. So at least, meaning the least they took is at least is two, but they could have even taken more. So those who took more are here. Two or more are here. These ones here. Okay? So when you check, um, this one and this one and this one, they took at least two. This one they took Fanta and, and Coke. These they took Fanta and Sprite. These they took Sprite and Coke. But these, again, they also took all the three. Okay? These they took all the three. So you also include them. Okay? So we are going to total now where we will total that number. So let me get a calculator and total them so that you see how we are going to maneuver. So we'll begin totaling now. So we'll say we'll get 11 there. 11 plus. Then I'll go to 50. Then plus I'll go to 10. Plus I'll go to 21. Then I'll say equals 92. So here in answering this question, we'll say 92. Okay. So we'll say 90. Oh, sorry. We'll say 92 students. So these are the ones that took at least two different types of drinks. Yeah, so guys, we have come to the end of this revision. If you are interested to join my online revision for mathematics through exam questions, you can contact me on online. 7, 7, 92, This is for those that are doing GCE. Okay, so for now, bye and see you in the next lesson. Peace.